Hi, this is Dr. Pallavi Patri. I'm one of the nephrologists working at Columbia Asia Whitefield Hospital. So as mentioned before, there are some forms of high blood pressure, uh, certain forms of high blood pressure that can actually, conditions that can actually damage the kidneys themselves. So that in some situations, high blood pressure can actually damage the kidneys. The setting of renovascular hypertension or renal artery stenosis, this is, this is a condition that can occur in, because of several different causes. The most common cause of uh, renovascular hypertension is what is called atherosclerotic disease. This is uh, the kind of disease where you have cholesterol plaques that build up in the, uh, in the main arteries that feed the kidneys. And when there is cholesterol plaque that's building up in those vessels, then uh, the arteries become narrowed and so the force within the, the pressure within the kidney increases the blood flow and the pressure within the kid the blood flow may decrease and the pressure within the kidney increases this can actually cause kidney damage down the line and this can, is a cause of hypertension in itself this can happen on one side uh, uh, with one artery feeding the kidney or on both sides with uh, with both kidneys um, the way that it's uh, typically managed um, is usually upfront with medications. In the majority of the cases, it's um, uh, managed with certain medications. In a certain, in a few cases, it can be managed procedurally by an interventional radiologist or a vascular doctor, where they have to uh, open up the blockages within these arteries uh, and occasionally put in stents uh, to keep those blockages from reaccumulating. From to keep the blockages from reaccumulating. On occasion, that is done in conjunction with medications. Otherwise, in the majority of the cases, these kind of uh, issues are dealt with medically with medication.